Good morning everybody, this is MK and I'm back. Today we are going to talk about Grade 4 Term 1 Geography Revision. Places where people live. And the three topics important for this is people and places, explaining the way, and people and their needs. What type of place is shown in this picture? Let's have a look. You can see lots of lights, tall buildings. This must be a big city. Do you agree? Can you imagine what your life would be like if you lived somewhere else. Life can be very different depending on where you live. For example, a person living on a farm has a different kind of life from a person living in a big city. I mean, you can't live on a farm and uh, let McDonald's deliver to your home, can you? Um, and in the city, there's always lots of noise, but on the farm, it is quiet and you can relax, but the city is always fast paced and there's a lot of concrete around you, there's not a lot of nature, but the farm, you can hear birds, you can see animals. So, just thinking about it, it's so different. Places where people live can be described as, and this is important, farms, villages, towns, or cities. You find buildings, roads and footpaths in all the places where people live. A building, road or footpath always has a function. The function is what it is used for. Explaining the way. Now this is the second topic we are looking at. How do you describe where you live? Places are all different. Each place has its own special features. Let's look at a few examples. Okay, let's look at the first picture here on the left. It says, this place has tall trees and no buildings. And what we can see in the picture, yes, there's lots of trees and there's sunlight coming through the trees. Definitely no buildings. We can maybe call this a forest. And the other picture, if we look at it, it says this place has buildings and a paved street. We don't see even any tree, not even one. So this must be a town or a city. Landmarks. Let's talk about landmarks. Can you remember what a landmark help you with? Landmarks help you to recognize places. Some landmarks are natural, like rivers, mountains or trees that are easy to see. Other landmarks are human made, like particular buildings, dams, statues or monuments. Let's look at a few examples of landmarks. Wow, just looking at these pictures, they look amazing. I just want to visit all of these places, eh? Um, let's look on the left, at the top there. We can see the big hole in Kimberley. It looks dangerous, hey? I wouldn't go and stand on that edge. And then at the bottom of that we can see the Union buildings in Pretoria. Look at that structure. 
You won't forget that if you see that, eh? And then on the right at the top, we have the Fuhr Tracker Monument in Pretoria. The building is huge. And at the bottom of that, we have the Cradle of Humankind in Marupeng. And look, it, it looks like a little mountain. It doesn't even look like a building. It's so unique. So all of these places are landmarks. And you will never forget them because of the way they look. It's amazing. Now let's go to the last topic for this revision session. People and their needs. What do people need to live healthy? Now let's look at these uh, pictures. The first one shows electricity. Yes, uh, we need electricity to do a lot of stuff. Um, unfortunately, South Africa has load shedding, but uh, we hope that that's going to work out in the future. And then we have a glass of water. Everybody knows we need water to survive. Water is very, very important. And then on the right there, we, have, we need to have food to survive. So all of these things we need. It's not a want. We need it to survive. Here we have two more needs to live healthy. This little house, it represents we have to have shelter. We have to have a place where we can sleep and feel safe from weather or any danger. And then on the right there, we need healthcare services. If we get sick, we need to go to the doctor. Otherwise we won't survive. Resources are the things people use. Natural resources come from nature. For example, we use land to grow crops and we use water to drink. Other natural resources are minerals, such as iron that we get from underground. Technological resources our equipment and machinery like cars, computers, televisions and machinery that people use in factories to make things. People are resources because we use people to make and do things. For example, food is produced with the physical strength and the skills of people. It's always nice to also see a picture of what we're talking about and here are examples of resources. There's a picture of iron that we get from underground, computers and then there in the top right hand corner we have land where we can grow crops. At the bottom of that there's water that we need to survive. And then to the left, we have somebody making furniture. You see, people is also a resource because we make things. And then the last one there is factory machinery, which are made by people to do things for us. Okay, so we've talked about resources. Let's talk about services. Services are things provided by the government and businesses. Health services are clinics, hospitals and the equipment and people that work for them. Educational services are schools, textbooks and teachers. And transport services are roads and traffic lights, taxis, trains and buses. Other services are retail services. Shops and businesses sell things we need and want. Waste and sewerage services remove all the waste we make like litter. And recreational services like gyms, sports fields, cinemas and dance clubs.
Thank you for watching and most importantly learning. This is MK's Glass signing out.